So I think the most frightening thing about uh, multiple drug resistant tuberculosis and extreme drug resistant or extensive XTR is that we don't really know how prevalent it is. Uh, we've seen drug resistant cases in all parts of the world and these extreme XTR cases in most places in the world as well. Um, in the U.S., it's not much of a problem. Uh, in New York City, there were only nine people last year who had multiple uh, drug-resistant tuberculosis, uh, much less XTR. So I don't think it's much of a problem here in the U.S., but in other countries, uh, it clearly is. Uh, Russia, 10 to 15 percent of all their TB cases were multiple drug resistance and some of them, you know, being XTR as well. In Africa, we don't really know what's going on because <laughs> there aren't any countries in Africa who can fund uh, the testing to uh, get any sort of sophisticated um, testing down there to, to cultures to, to find out what's going on. So if you look at the DWO map for XTR, it's just this giant blank because um, we don't know. Um, so that, that's scary as well, that we can't get a sophisticated diagnostic equipment to areas where TB is, you know, predominant. So, um, multiple drug-resistant tuberculosis and XCR usually comes because of uh, a radical treatment towards TB. Um, when you have TB, you need to have multiple antibiotics um, all at once at a very scheduled regimen each day. If you do not do this, it's the drug resistance will predominate. And the scariest thing about XTR is that um, there is essentially no treatment. It's you know, throw the whole kitchen sink at them because we don't lack due to, like I said, lack of funding and economics um, and drug development for these antibiotics has really been lagging, so that's where we're at right now. Um.